What's up everybody, my name is Scott Paddock and today we are gonna talk about how to make your improv sound funky. As saxophone players, we usually start our improv journey talking about a jazz style. If you want to change that up into a funk style, there are a lot of things that we need to switch up. The first thing that we need to talk about is the way we play our eighth notes. When you play eighth notes in a jazz style, you swing the eighth notes. So you have one eighth note that's a little bit longer or a little more accented than the other, like do ba do ba do. When we're playing in a funk style, we play straight eighth notes or even eighth notes. Now that term can be confusing because we don't play our eighth notes perfectly even because that wouldn't sound good at all. That doesn't sound funky and it doesn't sound good. But when someone says straight eighth notes or even eighth notes, they mean don't swing your eighth notes and they should be a bit more even and a bit more straight. Now, the reason they're not perfectly even or perfectly straight is because we're gonna do a lot of things with our articulations that are gonna make them have more of a style to it. But the first thing you wanna think about when it comes to improvising in a funk style is don't play swing eighth notes, play straight eighth notes. As you can hear, I'm tonguing those eighth notes. I'm not slurring them or swinging them. So once you have your straight eighth notes, the next thing you wanna think about is the rhythms that you're gonna play. When you're playing in a jazz style, uh, you're playing mostly eighth notes that are connected and you're kind of winding your way through the scale. Now obviously there's some syncopation, there's some long notes and that kind of stuff, but your main ingredient is gonna be eighth notes. So when you're talking about funk style, our main thing is gonna be syncopation. So we're gonna be playing a lot of 16th notes and we're gonna bring, be bringing out the E, the and and the uh of the beat. So if you think one E and uh, we're gonna bring out the syncopation a lot more. So instead of you have a lot more syncopation that sounds like this. So if you read a transcription of a funk solo, the rhythms look insane because there are 16th notes and 16th note rests all over the place because of the syncopation. So when you're thinking about funk improv, the first thing you wanna think about is straight eighth notes. The second thing is syncopation. Now, if we just play syncopation, it's not gonna sound great. That sounds okay, it sounds funky-ish, but it's definitely missing something. And what it's missing is the articulation. So when it comes to funk improv, there is a ton of articulation, and that is what makes the even straight eighth notes not so perfectly even. So you're gonna be bringing out a lot of accented notes, staccato notes, you're gonna have short notes, accented notes, you're gonna have all kinds of texture in the notes that you play that are gonna make them sound longer and shorter. Do you hear all of the articulation I'm doing in there? Almost every note has something on it. I'm not playing this at all. That doesn't sound funky. What makes it sound funky is the articulation that you put on top of the syncopation. That sounds a lot more funky. Now, the next thing we need to think about is your dynamics. When we're talking about dynamics in a jazz style or a classical style or a lot of other styles, you're thinking about gradually getting louder, gradually getting softer. When we're talking about dynamics in a funk style, we are taking each individual note and playing some louder and some uh, softer. And we're using the softer ones to set up the louder ones. So they're set up notes for your main accented notes. Do you hear how I pull back on some of those notes to set up other notes? 
So what you're thinking about when it comes to dynamics in a funk style is per the note. So you're thinking about how the notes are going together and one note might be really soft and the next note might be a lot louder and then you might pull back again. Now I overdid it that time so you could hear the softer side, but you're going to not have one arc of getting louder or one arc of getting softer. There are going to be individual notes that are softer and louder, and it's all about bringing out a counter rhythm on top of your syncopation. The counter rhythm are the louder syncopated notes. So you can hear I'm doing a lot of syncopation, I'm playing a lot of notes, but there are louder notes that are on the top and that gives you the counter rhythm. In other words, that's the rhythm that you're hearing and all of the other stuff around it are the setup notes that set up the counter rhythm. Take a listen one more time. Listen to those jabby stabby notes that are stronger. So that's what I'm talking about when I say the syncopation and the articulation brings out the counter rhythm. Now the last thing that we're going to talk about is the way the notes go together. When you're playing in a jazz style, you're thinking mostly eighth notes and they're going together in a line, they're smooth and connected, and you're using them to also change chords over the chord progression. When we're in a funk style, we're going to think more in smaller groupings that I like to call combinations. So combinations are just like little nuggets of a musical thought. Something like that. da ga do bop That's a combination. So you want to think about that as one thing instead of four notes. That's one thing. That's another one thing. That's another combination. That's another combination. So if you think about your note groupings as a combination of things that are going together as one gr note grouping, it's going to sound way funkier. So when I'm playing, you can hear I do a little combination, then I have some notes in between, go between notes, and then I go into another combination. If you think about your note groupings as combinations when you're playing in a funk style, it's going to have a lot more texture and it's going to sound way funkier. So when it comes to funk improv, there are a couple things that you need to think about. First is play straight or even eighth notes. Second, your syncopation is super important. Third, your articulation is what makes the syncopation sound really good. Fourth, your dynamics are used for setup notes to give you more texture and have a counter rhythm. And fifth, you want to think about your notes going together in combinations. If you do all of those things, your improv will sound a whole lot better when you're playing in a funk style. <laughs> <laughs>